So I'd like to continue talking about elbows, in particular, uh, the arm that's not elbowing and how we defend ourselves. So we showed the angle motion, um, side, up, spearing elbows. And what I'd like to talk about is what the hand that's not elbowing is doing. And also talk about the relationship between height and elbow. If I'm taller than my opponent and I'm elbowing, I can be leaving myself open. Whereas if I'm shorter than my opponent, often you can see that I'm covered while I elbow. And in tight, it can favor the shorter fighter at the elbow range. Whereas in this range, the knees would favor the taller fighter. Um, not meaning that a taller fighter can't take advantage of elbows, of course not. Um, when we're elbowing though, if I can elbow my opponent, he can elbow me. So I don't want to cover my chin, even the temple. We're going to bring the guard across, almost like I'm going to grab the top of my own head. And I almost create a blinder where now if he were to try to elbow me, he would be hitting my arm. And in the instance that I were trying to throw an elbow and he were at the same time, if I were even taller, he's throwing this downward elbow and covering and I'm throwing my elbow, you can see that he may be able to hit me. And it's important that as he throws the elbow, that he covers with the other side. And you can see his cover, his hand is come and it's covering part of the top of his head. The other one's across and this makes a nice, almost like a crab guard of sorts. So as the elbows, boom, he's covered. If I were to throw a hook, I'd be hitting the elbow. Even a straight punch wouldn't get through. My own elbow on the other side's not gonna get through. This type of defense is very important. So as we elbow, um, you can imagine that one hand is covering and the other hand almost wants to open, which allows me um, to utilize this bone well, especially if you're having trouble hitting with the bone. You know, elbowing like this doesn't make sense. You want to at least get your hand here, if not all the way here. So we have the effect of elbowing here and switching. Now this one's covering. And again, as we mentioned before, when we throw the elbow, if we miss, we're not following through. If he misses with the elbow, he's not gonna, like, swing. He's not gonna follow through. He's gonna follow through right past my head and then compose himself and remain guarded at all times. If he throws some elbows, you see this short and his step is where the power is coming from. And every time he's throwing, the other hand is coming across and covering.